You too, go ahead and do it for the culture. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Culture fam, welcome back. We got another bang episode coming at you next. Let's get into it. All right, you two, welcome back, Culture Fam, and a special shout out and welcome to the newer viewers out there. You're clicking on this video and you're giving us the opportunity to provide you with this content. Hopefully, don't we don't disappoint. We aim to please. And if we do please and you find yourself liking the content, all we ask you to do is smack that like button. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button to join the Culture Fam and ring those bells for added bonus and select all so you can be notified any and every time we drop any future upcoming content. We're going to be getting back into this college football revamp with your District State University Cougars in this upcoming episode. So without further ado, hopefully all is going well with you and yours. Let's get into it. With Jennings on the edge, and they're going to go. Guys, as we do... And we do just that, fit it in the Saunders, and nobody. Hold your fam. You too. Look at this. It says, unwatchable. District, state, and North Texas open their bottom feeding conference play. They don't believe in your Cougars, man. And I don't know if I really agree with them because while we are a new university, I like the guys we assemble on the roster, and you saw that roster in the last episode, and if you didn't see that, I do encourage you to go back and look at it, but they're just saying this isn't going to be a good game, and I don't really much too much believe that. So looking at what Lee Corso thinks, of course he's going to go with North Texas because North Texas is ranked better than us, but at the end of the day, we feel our quarterback is better than theirs, and that's what matters in the game that comes down like this you look at our overall rating you see c for north texas we come in at a d offensive rating a d plus they're a c plus defensive rating a d and they're a c so they beat us in all of that but when it comes down to it what matters is the coach and i feel like i'm a better coach than the coach over at north texas but we're going to get into the game and see if that bodes true All right, so we're coming out here for the first time in school history, taking on these North Texas Mean Green. And we got a true freshman QB at quarterback. So we're going to try to start things off with easy as we go with the run. He breaks off one tackle, but ultimately the pursuit by North Texas only nets two yards on that carry. We're rocking our white tops, black bottoms look. This is possibly my favorite uni combination as far as our away goes. We have a couple of uniforms that we're gonna be showing you throughout the channel. So y'all just let me know what y'all think of them. As Pacheco makes a good move, is able to bounce off of that tackle and he's gonna pick up eight yards and they're gonna say he got that first down. All right, so with it being a rain game, you're probably not gonna see us toss the ball in the air a lot. But we're going to try it right here just to see if we can help calm the nerves for Thompson. It, like we said, it's his first game, so you'll take anything you get. And they leave him wide open. Jay Saunders, they blow the coverage. 19 yards on that reception. The QB can't get no easier pass than that. All right, so 19 yards on that first pitch and catch. Like we were saying about the uniform, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this uniform combination. White top, black bottoms. We're working on trying to get more helmets. And, of course, we'll have more uniforms as time go. As we get Elliott the ball, we told you in space he can be dangerous. He picks up four on that reception, so we'll take that. Speaking of Elliott, like we said, we want to get him out on the field. Any chance he gets to kind of touch the rock, we kind of want to give him that. So we're going to break out what we like to call Wild Cougar. A lot of y'all might know it as the Wildcat, but we're just a little bit different over here. As Elliott gets the spacing, but number 22 is just fast. Elliott's fast now, but for 22 to catch him, yeah, he got some speed. All right, so you got to love how the... Young signal caller has been calling things, been keeping everything even killed. He hasn't got too high, doesn't look like he's getting too low either. So, you'll take that as they give him space. He shakes one, but he's only able to pick up four. You don't want to take him, you don't want him taking a hit there. You'd rather see him fly or pitch it off. All right, so they sit one safety high. We're going to look to attack the middle with Jay Saunders right here. 
11 just backed out, so I don't really like that. Oh, they leave him open, but we couldn't get it to him in time, and we ultimately eat it for a sack. So we're going to go back to that play. We're just going to switch sides and see if we can catch him kind of off guard. They got to be expecting there's no way we go back to it. They don't really have a single safety high, so... Uh, uncork it ah but saunders isn't able to catch it fourth and 16 don't really feel good about our kicker so we're going to send out the punch they really call rough in the pass or on a screen play that's bang bang north texas and paid these refs we're going to come out here with jennings on the edge and they're going to go And we said this man is going to be big for us. He reads that perfectly, is able to jump the route, and he gets his first interception of his young career. We hope he stays all four years, but he keeps making plays like that. Probably not. All right, so coming back on, coming back out here on defense after that big-time interception. And we're going to look to run it. Jones cuts it up, and he's going to pick up seven on that carry, making it second and three. All right, second and three. From about the, I'd say the 52 yard line. Oh, wide open. He put it in on a rope to Jace for 22 yards. The only issue is we don't really have a receiver outside of Saunders, and that kind of hurts because he's our best receiver and he's a corner. So there's that. But we come out here first and 10, and I'm loving what I'm seeing on this drive this time around as he's going to fit the ball into his running back, Pacheco, for seven yards. All right, second and three. We're going to look to see if we can get this cut back going as the player is going to pop up now. Got to watch out for their star player right there in that part of the field. But, again, it's a cutback, and Elliott has moves for days. He'll pick up eight yards. We're sitting at first and goal, looking pretty this time around. We're going to put A on three. Looking kind of confused. Guys, as we do, and he makes a beautiful catch for a first touchdown. Thompson kind of set him up on that play, but he'll take that first touchdown and the first point in the career of DSU come off the left-handed arm. All right, so coming back out here on defense, and again, like we said, we're going to use Jennings off the edge a lot in this game. He can play in coverage. You will see that a little bit, but for the most part, you want to see him trying to get after the quarterback as Fogg is going to make that tackle. All right, so we spoke on using him in coverage right here, and that's what we're going to do on this timeout. We're going to drop back in coverage. As he comes and he makes a big hit on Jair Shotter. All right, back in coverage again. We're going to go with this uh, cover two look. Drop him back in the middle and kind of just patrol it. Whatever we need as they go screen. And we're going to stop him fourth and four. They're going to have to send out the punt unit. Hopefully we feel that they say there is no way they'll go back with the read option. But that's definitely what we're looking to do here on first and ten as they sit three safety times. All right, so we've been hitting them with the run a lot. They sit back too safety high. We have to hope they bite, and if they do, Jace is going to be open. We're going to go with play action look right here. Taking a risky shot. They don't even let him jump. Like, had they let Saunders jump, he probably would have a touchdown. But because they don't, ultimately no touchdown. That's usually how that goes. We're going for it. It's dangerous running this play on fourth and two, sitting with the uh, play action. But it worked for us on the opening play. Let's see if it does that again. If not, he might have to try to tuck it and run. As he's going to have to tuck it and run. But he'll get that first down. Get out of bounds. Horse collar, ref. All right. Again, another good drive. Your young QB is managing things the way you want to see. So we'll take that. Coming out first and 10. Looking to attack this single safety look. Oh. 
Ah. The only issue and reason he isn't a full-time receiver is because hands like that. Now, while we feel he has good hands, he just doesn't have the best hands. But, again, he's probably our best receiver. So that's kind of what I'm stuck with. As we're going to look to create kind of a rub action, send the tight end out here on the street. And we do just that, fit it in the Saunders, and nobody's going to catch him if he gets in for a touchdown. And we spoke on records being broken, and in his very first game, he breaks a record and throws his second touchdown of the game. The, your corner, who has an interception on the night, and a touchdown. You'll take that. All right, we're going to work with this stunt game right here. So I'm going to go under 17 to try to get after the quarterback with Jennings. But it's blocked well. And their running back is just bouncing off tackles right now like a pinball. It might be that Snorfest that they were talking about. Not a lot of offense. Still 14 to nothing in our favor. So you'll take that. But same time as dumb four. And number nine get to the QB for the sack. You look at me on the sideline, I'm pretty happy about that. The biggest thing with recruiting as we get into that a little bit later on, we're recruiting a lot of athletes and we want guys with speed that can get after the passer. As they Turn over chain. 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 QB is saying, no, sir, I'm trying to get reservations for six. He breaks the school interception record with two. Almost had the touchdown, but you'll take that second interception for us. We told you this guy is going to be big for us. Two interceptions and a touchdown on the day. He's showing why right there. He is our Iron Man, and we're loving what we're seeing from him. Like, it's this team defensive-wise, if he can show up every day, and hopefully if we can get Jennings going, it's going to be beautiful as there's nobody to go we run over a guy in Thompson is gonna get in the end zone for his fourth touchdown was well, third touchdown can't do math math is hard for me but his third touchdown on the day because that's how that works if you score seven three times you get 21 gave you a little math left how you like it? as we look into the studio update you see number seven Florida trailing to Miami 14 to 7 hopefully Miami can get the win already sitting at one and oh we're a Miami fan in real life so you love what you're seeing right now all right so we're gonna go back with this stunt loop and see if we can get him in behind number 17 we do but they go with the run and they pick up seven on that carry so while i have loved everything i've seen from this defense i don't like that we don't really have many sacks so i do want to see that improve might not be in this game but who knows maybe in game two as we still try to get big hits on the guy and they just break off of him like we're nothing all right, again, we're going to send Jennings on this blitz. Got him in coverage to look like he's playing back this time. Hopefully, we confuse the QB. We don't. And number 15 breaks off number two with a nasty step on. Well, they're going to pick up that first down, but time is ticking with one timeout. They probably don't want to waste it. We're gonna drop in coverage here. Might be a run, but at the same time, we'll get on dump for to see if we can apply pressure in the middle. As they go on the out route to Siggers, second and goal. And we're gonna send a different look. Send this blitz at them. We don't get there, and they finally get in the end zone. And coming in the half, they'll be getting the ball in the next half so we got 17 seconds to try to do something with a few moments later all right so they sit one single safety high we haven't really went with a deep shot at all today so let's see if we can get melton open and get him in the end zone as he has a cannon and they blow the coverage melton is gonna rumble fumble stumble all the way into the end zone and time expires Jordan Thompson is a QB. We told y'all about he uncorks a beautiful throw. And Melton, your star receiver, does the rest. We spoke on Melton being the only really guy that would to do anything for his receiver. And you saw that on that deep shot. 
All right, as we look at the Nissan innovation that is sites, we're going to look in, at some of the plays going on in this game before half. As you see, Jay Saunders, our do-it-all guy right now, just doing a little bit of some of everything. All right, so coming back out here on defense in this second half, and I kind of just want to see what I saw in the first half. Just you know, apply pressure to him while we're not getting a, a whole lot of sacks. We are getting pressure as Saunders gives up his first catch of the day. Now that should say something. He has had a good, with two interceptions, he's been targeted a lot, but he hasn't really given up much. As they're gonna go to the outside guy right here, no coverage, Saunders is the only one that can get to him. He isn't able to get him down and 14 gets in the end zone for a touchdown. That's not how you wanted to see us come out of half. All right, so we're not out of this game by no shot. They're only down 14, and they have been able to score. So we really need our defense to do something right here. As you get the quarterback in the backfield, you can't let him carry you for a game of three, no matter who the quarterback is. We sent all the guys needed to stop that play. They just didn't make the play. So unless their name is Jay Saunders, our defenders are not making plays for us right now. All right, so we're going to sit back and play coverage with Jennings and see if we can kind of confuse the QB. Maybe he'll make a mistake and throw a pass. We don't want him to throw, but he chooses the out route. Not enough to pick up that first now, and they have to send out the punt team. All right, so we're going to go back to our wild Cougar set as they sit one, safe, one single safety high. Here we go. Send Young in motion. It's blocked beautifully this time around. Pacheco, we tried to wait for it to hold up. Hopefully that'll be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. We'll take that. They're giving away making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. All right, we're gonna go back to this play because each time we've seen it, it's been open and it's just not the right play. Uh, we'll go for broke. Hey. That was my fault. Threw it to the wrong guy. All right, coming out here, second and 10. They blow it. They blew it bad. And Jace picks up 25 yards. He broke the school record for receiving yards. A corner broke the receiving record. See what we're saying here? He just had a corner break the receiving yard record. Where? Like, our receivers haven't really played bad. It's just Jason seems to be the only one getting open. As we're going to go with this run right here. And Elliott is going to get in for his first touchdown of his young career. All right, we're going to get in this cover two look and get on Jennings right here to look to play defense. Probably going to move around a little bit just to kind of throw him off, see what he wants to do with it. Set. Oh, we blew that coverage. I haven't really spoke on Jace blowing that coverage. He went for the press right there and kind of got beat on it. So, I mean, it's going to happen. The young guy ain't going to be the best 24%. That's 100% of the time. I don't know what I was saying right there. Like I said, math is hard. Don't judge me. But he's not going to be shut down 100% of the time. He's a, he's a true freshman. He's going to make mistakes. But you have to take those mistakes as number 88 doesn't feel like he needs to pick up the first down and he decides to step out of bounds. Again, we would like to see pressure from Jennings. We're not really seeing that right now. Don't really know too much about North Texas offensive line. But I do know that we aren't tackling like we should as we're going to get Prittle. Tight end Prittle. You just let a man named Prittle do that to you. Just, just let that sink in. Every time I try to get pressure off the edge, we get beat in the middle. And I go right back to it right here. Still trying to get pressure with Jennings. I want him to get a sack. As Darton catches his second catch of the day, he came in as their impact player. He only has about two catches for maybe 20 yards. So you'll take what we've been doing on the coverage side of things against him. As we got stuck. 
We got stuck between the offensive lineman and the defensive tackle. We had a clear lane. As we try to show it right there, you see Jennings get clipped. They don't call it. And they got a first and goal. I want for this man to get a sack. I really do. I promise you I do. We're going to come off here on the edge. But they go with the read option, hand it off to Tory, and he's in the end zone. They're not going away no matter how good we're playing on offense. And my defense is looking kind of shaky. All right, sitting at second and six, they sit with two safeties mid. We're actually going to see if 10 can get open. If they try to take too much on, they don't. He forced that one. He was having a great day, but we forced that pass and we get an interception. I'm not even mad about that interception. That interception was on me. So I apologize, Thompson. I got to be better. Oh, that was set up beautifully. All right, we're going to focus on coverage as we're going to go with our defensive end in Terror to see if he can get pressure. But number eight is the one that, number three, I'm sorry, is the one that gets there. And he says he's having none of that. All right, it's been a minute since we even went in the 4 4 split. So we're going to come out here again with Jennings and try to get pressure on the QB. Hopefully we can get there. And if we can. Your guys, we run right into our own guys. All right, we're going to send everybody because I'm tired of their offensive line blocking the way they're blocking. So somebody has to get there. All right, so for the first time, we're going to break out this bear look. Just again, trying to cause pressure at different angles and hopefully we can get after the QB. As they go with the end around. And it's blocked well, and they'll pick up that 14-yard carry in the first down. All right, we're going to send the safety on the blitz as we look to play coverage right here. Wait, no, we're actually saying we're going on the blitz too, so I might have called the wrong play. As you hate to see that, he's making great moves. The QB is just getting the ball out too fast. Second and 10 right here as we're going to again send Jennings on the blitz, but they're going to go with the QB keeper. No way you're going to let this man score a touchdown on us. 42 yards. Just let that man rush for 42 yards. And looking at the red zone efficiency, you don't like it. They're at 100%. But we are able to get in to get Tory in the backfield for a loss of two. This game is not over and we can't act like it is. There's still enough time if they're able to get in and get the touchdown right here. We're looking pretty bad. And uh, Jennings comes in with a big time tackle for a loss. His second on the day. It's not a sack, but he bullied the offensive tackle and was able to get the QB down for that loss. Pressure him. Sacks will come. That's what we got to tell ourselves. And that's what we're ultimately been telling ourselves. We're going to get on dump four here and see if he can get pressure in as he's able to get to him. But the receiver's left wide open, and again, they get into the end zone, and like we spoke on. Oh, all right, so we come out here, and I don't like what I see. Saunders is not out, but I can't really force a timeout, so we're just going to have to play without him, and right now, that looks good. Minus five on that carry. I need to see 14 out there soon, though. I do know that much as we come with pressure, but they go to the opposite side. We're able to hit them in bounds. Time's still ticking. They're gonna have to start using the timeout soon. They don't wanna use the timeout and we're not gonna ask them to, so. Here at third and 10, you know it's a pass. We're gonna try to get pressure. We don't ultimately get any pressure. Young hurdles the guy, but they're able to get that first down. Right, first and 10, time still ticking away. As they're gonna go deep. Good coverage by 21. You'd rather Saunders be there, but you'll take that. We're gonna take a timeout. We took a timeout to try to get Saunders out there, but apparently he's just been playing too much Iron Man football and he's gassed beyond all belief. First, I'll start, yeah, we'll take that. Shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they can just keep their 
Again, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a stamina glitch, but right now they're just saying he is too gassed as Jennings is going to help get Tory down after that one yard rush. I really don't know what's going on, but I really want my guy out there. And right now he's not. So big hit by Abram though, is that's fourth and five and they're going to have to go for it. All right, we're going to sit guys back in coverage right here. We're going to play with Jennings, try to patrol the middle. As we're going to stop them short. Turnover on down, and we're going to win this game. All right, so looking at player stats, you can see Thompson had a QBR 170.1. 15 completions, 28 attempts, 279 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Those two interceptions were more on me. 53% completion percentage, 18.5 yards per average. So for a true freshman, the, the rookie was slinging it. 63 yards was the longest pass, was sacked two times. Looking at rushing side of things, Josh Elliott had 13 attempts for 65 yards, 4.9 per carry, one touchdown, 15 yards was his longest, 35 yak, no 20 plus yards, but three broken tackles. Thompson contributed 12 for 54 with a 4.5 average he had a rushing touchdown as well pachico only had eight for 37 and it's not that he wasn't good when he was out there he just didn't have that breakaway speed and that is kind of an issue for us so while we're still going to have him as a starter if elliot can come in and provide this coming off the bench you'll see him have more attempts than pachico but the guy's a senior and you want to see him go out on top Receiving wise, Jay Saunders, our corner, this guy was a monster. We're speaking on receiving wise. We're going to get to what he did on the defensive side of things. He had four for 107, 26.7 yards per average, one touchdown, 41 yards was that touchdown. His yak was 29, 7.2. He did have two drops, but he's a corner, so we don't expect him to catch everything. Josh Elliott had three receptions for five yards 1.6 average four was his longest haskins had two for 43 melton had two for 79 with two touchdowns washington had one for 10 woods had one for 20 jones had one for eight and pachico had one for seven defensive wise our tackle leader was led by middle linebacker tyshawn fogg had six five solo one assisted Eisen Jr. had five and five. Avery had five and five. Jennings, who you didn't see that sack, but he did get a sack the last play of the game, had four, three, one, two tackles for loss in the sack. So he showed up big for us, a freshman getting time out there. Lumar had three and three. White had three and three. And Young also had three and three. And as you see, the rest of the guys, they had two. And then these had one. All right, you too. We got to upgrade, but we'll upgrade in the next episode. I am happy with what I saw out from my team, my young QB, my defensive guys. I didn't even cover the interceptions now that I think about it. But as you see, if you watch the game, Jace had two interceptions. So he proved big for us on both sides of the field. And you love that. To have over 100 yards receiving and two interceptions on the defensive side. He's definitely noteworthy of our player for the game. Yes, we know Jordan Thompson ended up getting player of the game. That's kind of how it goes with QB. But that's going to bring the episode to a close. First win in DSU history, and you can say you were a part of it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the content. If you did, smack that like button because you enjoyed it. That's how we know that you enjoy it, and that's how we're going to keep cranking the videos out. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button and join the Culture Fam if you're rocking out with the College Football Revamp Series or any football series here on the channel. Make sure you, if you do smack that subscribe button, you consider ringing those bells and selecting all so you can be notified any and every time we drop any future upcoming content. With that being said, until next time, you too, Culture Fam. Culture signing out. Peace.